Well, according to scientists, these cooler and less humid winds that we're feeling right now are helping millions of birds start their migration south. It's going to be meteorologist Alex Libby in studio with more. Alex? Yeah, thanks, Mark. I talked to uh, Laura Cook, the bird research coordinator at the Warren Parks Nature Center, and she says 200 million birds will be migrating over the United States just tonight and 2.9 million of those will fly directly over Davidson County and it doesn't end just tonight. Tomorrow night we also have 265 million birds flying over the United States over the night and these birds they use northerly winds to help them migrate south and the setup that we had this weekend was we had a low pressure system with its warm front over here cold front over here and the fronts act as areas of lower pressure. There's higher pressure on this side of it, higher pressure on that side of it. So when the bird feels that pressure drop, it actually tells them that they need to start going when they feel that cold front go through, and then they can ride those northerly winds from the northern part of the United States and Canada all the way down to Mexico. I talked to Cook earlier, and this is what she had to say. And so during fall migration, um, the songbirds are waiting for a, a cold front to push through and that's when they have those strong northerly winds that can help push them further south. Yeah, Cook says 80% of songbirds migrate at night while hawks, raptors and hummingbirds tend to fly during the day. She says the most common species of birds that you'll see in Kentucky and Tennessee are several different types of warblers, including the Tennessee warbler. Now, Cook says some birds can reach speeds of up to 60 miles per hour when they have a strong enough tailwind. Mark? I thought I heard them this morning. They sounded pretty loud. Alex, thank you.